The holidays are a time when many people have guests, some of them expected and some unexpected. So you always want your home to be ready for visitors. And part of that preparation is making things smell good. Well, Bernardette Joffin is back with us with her natural products to make your home smell good for the holidays. So thank you so much for being back, Bernardette. Thanks for having and me back. And this is a common problem in the holidays. You ha you want your house to always be prepared and neat and clean. And you know, smelling good is half the battle. Yes, yes. All right, so I know yes. you've got some tips and tricks for us. And the first one is a special spray you're creating, right? Yes, okay. it's an easy to do room spray. This is one of the fastest things that you can do. We oh. have a travel size bottle here. Okay. Um, and this is about two ounces of water. Mm -hmm. And you can pick from your essential oil. We have peppermint, um, sweet orange, and clove. Okay. Um, and so you can just add a I'll few go. drops of each. Peppermint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like minty, very refreshing. Also a great scent around the holidays. I can't get the cap off, but. Okay. If you I got it? it, no, help okay. me. <laughs> we You're are the with. professional. This is why I bring you in to help me open bottles. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I, as much as I want? Yeah, just a few drops. I would say about six to eight to start with. Okay. And it's a pretty full bottle, so One, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And um, you just put the lid on. This? Mm-hmm. Okay. And shake, shake it, up. it up. And you missed it. I like to shake. <laughs> I put my whole body in it when I right. shake. All and right. The way that you test this is if you just go ahead, I like to just spray it on my hand. Give me some. And then see how it smells. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah. And, and light. Right, it is. And we have some other oils. Like, so this is the peppermint, and we have the orange oil. And if you are not good at scents, one of the quickest ways to test this out and see if it'll work, mm -hmm. you either put it on a, a little tester strip or you just to see if the put them match. together and see if they blend oh, well. So do you these know? blend? Yeah, they do. They do that smells really yeah. good, like orange mint. Yes, we just orange created mint. A scent. Yeah, and you okay. can add, um, like if you did orange and clove, that's more of a robust holiday spicy type scent. Ah, you know, okay. So. And it will be stronger depending on how many drops you put in there. Yes. So it's always better to start with a little bit. Essential oils like tea tree, peppermint, eucalyptus, those are very pungent. Okay. So it's better to just start with a few drops and then increase the drops if you need, than to have too much and then have to waste it. All or, right, well, great tips there. Let's right. move on to the next one. And this is homemade potpourri. Very cool. Yes. Because you always see this, but I have no clue what's really in it. Okay, so <laughs> a lot of big brand um, potpourris have synthetic fragrance oils in them. This is all natural. Oh. So we have rose petals, lavender buds, mm -hmm. cinnamon, this is cardamom pods and seeds. Okay. And here we have star anise and clove. Look how pretty. And, yeah, and I've started it off already, so we're kind of like halfway there. This okay. would be sufficient. And you can just go ahead. Um, there's a scoop. You can add some more rosemary. So this is I mean, the rose, rose petals. petals. Yes. So you just kind of add that to your jar. I and just, where do you get this stuff from? So basically, I get it in big bulk because, of course, I make you products make for Saint Nika. Right. Um, but you can find this in a regular grocery store. The herbs that we're using today, you can find at the New Orleans Food Co-op. The essential oils are available okay. at the New Orleans so Food Co-op. So easy Co stuff as well. to find. Mm -hmm. yes. And this is the lavender. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I can put a little bit of that in there. Yeah, you put a little bit of that in there. You can just kind of layer it um, to your to heart's make it consent. Look pretty. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's put some more. All right. And then um, you can add some, we have cinnamon already, so you can add a little bit of cardamom pods and seeds. Okay. Add a little green to that, a little bit of clove. I like the stars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can add a star anise. There we go. Yeah. And another stick, cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever makes <laughs> you happy. It's the holidays. Put them all in there. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. And if you smell it, it smells wonderful. So that's really Ooh. quick and, and easy and aromatic. Oh, yeah. And a quick tip is if you if the sun comes in a certain part of your home, uh -huh. you can put this by your window pane. And when you get in during the day, it just, that heat from the sun just kind of makes it even and more And I like, I don't aromatic. usually like potpourri because it's too strong, but the homemade right. one is so much lighter. Yes, and it's all, all right. natural. Well, let's move yeah. on. You've got something else. See, I'll let you describe this because I don't know where we're going. <laughs> this is our aromatic um, bouquet okay. or aroma bouquet. I did this myself. I am not a professional florist by any stretch of the imagination. It looks pretty to me. We have a spearmint here, 
rosemary, and basil. These are all, gr I grow these myself. Oh, okay. So whether you grow them or if you buy it from um, the grocery store, like the New Orleans Food Co-op, they sell packaged herbs that you can use for cooking. Mm -hmm. You can do the same thing to create that aromatic herb. And get just like a pretty, maybe even like a holiday jar. Yeah. And then you're yes. set to go. Yes, like I just put some rocks in here and some water and we're all set. Looks so it's beautiful. Yeah, you can um, add a bow to it and make it all holiday like themed if you want. And it, it smells too. really good. Yeah. All right, and finally we have candles. When all else fails an essential oil candle is great here this is Sainika's lavender mist yeah candle. this is one you make with your company say yes mm -hmm. okay so this is all natural right it's um pure soy can soy candle with lavender and sweet orange essential oil so it really smells up the room it's lavender and sweet orange and it gives it a really uplifting scent it does it smells really nice because you gave me this one to try last yes. time and I told mm -hmm. you I don't really like lavender right. it smells too strong but it smelled wonderful right that orange actually lifts the lavender so it's not as herbal some people That's don't what I really think it like is. I'm lavender. not a fan of the herbal smell. Yeah. So it yeah. made it almost like a little fruity tinge. So great stuff there. And I'm sure you have some products people can pick up from Say Nika for the holidays. Right. Yes. Our website, SayNikaNaturals.com. Mm -hmm. And um, we're also available at the New Orleans Food Co-op, Whole Foods Market, and a few other retailers. Well, wonderful. Yeah. Thanks so much for being back with us, Bernard. And as you said, you can either make them yourself mm -hmm. or check out Say Nika. So yes. to learn more about Say Nika, you can visit the website, SayNikaNaturals.com. Say Nika products can be found at the French market and stores all over. You can also learn more about Sainika on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Much more the 504 ahead. Don't go far.